I was pleasantly surprised to discover in this dictionary, which I actually bought a number of years ago, it's a, I, and I put another cover on because it had a hard cover that broke off. It's a new English dictionary, and that's what it says inside. And I found the word bant, verb, and in brackets it said banting. And then three words down, the word banting comes up in the dictionary and it says named after the inventor and it's a noun and it, the sort of definition of the meaning is reduction of obesity and it goes on and I was delighted because words only get added to a dictionary or to the English language if they are used to such an extent that generally people know what you're talking about. Today, I'm sure in a modern dictionary you'll find the word Google and um, similar technical words, a blog. In fact, there is a word blog now that is included into the English dictionary. And so at, in 1933, that's 60 years after William Banting had discovered this amazing way of losing weight, it was included into the English language. The word bant, I would say to somebody, oh, you've lost some weight. Do you bant? Or somebody would say, banting is a marvelous way of feeling young and fit and slim. So it was well known. And thanks to William Banting, who was an London undertaker in the time of Queen Victoria in uh, 1863 after 30 years of trying to find a way of losing weight he had just retired age 65 he found a doctor who said my good man you just need to cut out all starch and saccharin matter abstain from those well, he did, and for the first time in 30 years, he lost a bit of weight, or he felt better, and uh, after only a few days. And so his story became well known because he published it, had four editions. Funny enough, none of them mentioned fat. He talked about corpulence in terms of his weight, and... Uh, I don't know why it fell out of use, but I think clue might be if you finish reading that definition. It says, uh, Banting, named after the inventor, the reduction of obesity by abstinence from fat, starch, and sugar. Where did the fat come in? He didn't mention fat. Well, mankind often wants to improve on things maybe and the the printer added this extra word because he thought oh that somebody's left it out or maybe it had become in common use that it was also to cut out fat in 1933 and today we've rediscovered the meaning of banting and the importance of cutting out starch and sugar because starch and sugar are the things that lead to obesity, not fat. In fact, we know from clear research that healthy fat will speed up our metabolism and burn more fat. And um, also, it heals our, our brain, really, in every part of us. And, and nervous system also, every cell of our body needs cholesterol for the outer um, cell membrane, and uh, in particular, the apostat, the part of our brain that measures or determines our appetite. So I'm delighted to be able to say that it was popular, and part of my calling in life is to try and make banting, also known as ketogenic diet, or 
LC, HF, low carb, high fat, popular again that people understand it and they don't go and add their own twist to it. That they really maybe even go back to William Banting's original story. It's on my website and I hope you enjoy Banting and that you bant with lots of joy. <laughs>